With RIM spewing out new handsets faster than an errant Catherine wheel, we've taken a look at the top new mobiles running the brand new BBOS 7. Do you prefer the sliding keyboard of the Torch 9810 or the more traditional layout of the Bold 9900? Or perhaps you're hankering after the all-touch offering of the Torch 9860? All three handsets are rocking BBOS 7, although this isn't much of an update over the previous version, with the same app drawers and layout as before. And while OS 7 isn't much to shout about, we do enjoy being able to remove unwanted app drawers from the home screen to reduce the annoying clutter. One thing RIM has never really managed to nail is designing super stylish handsets. The Bold 9900 is the only real eye-catcher of the three, thanks to its sharp lines and more palm-friendly design. The Torch 9860 doesn't do RIM any favours in the design stakes, as it's just another large touchscreen with a black frame, and operating it with one hand can become a tricky balancing act. The Torch 9810 is sleeker, but still a chunky beast. We're really surprised RIM didn't give this a design overhaul from the original 9800 to make it stand out against the Androids and iPhones of this world. The Torch 9810 and the Bold 9900 don't like taking photos in landscape, with the options and settings menus refusing to rotate, despite a dedicated camera key. The picture quality on all three is pretty much acceptable, with the Bold 9900 probably providing the least impressive snaps of the lot. Video recording was average across the range. If we're honest, despite the promise of 720p video, we're not seeing that quality. That said, the LED flash on each device is pretty good, with the Torch 9810s in particular practically blinding us in test. As you'd expect with BlackBerry phones, the decent keyboard is all important, but the experience across the three phones on test isn't as good as we hoped. The Torch 9860, devoid of a physical keyboard, was predictably the poorest on show, with limited accuracy and the option to hide the virtual keys far too easy to hit. The Torch 9810's keypad isn't too bad, although the letters are a tad close together for those with larger fingers. Plus, the on-screen keyboard is a little erratic when flicking between landscape and portrait. The internet browser is much improved with the new BBOS 7, but the experience across the new range isn't exactly the same with each model. The optical trackpad is often a better option than the touchscreen for scrolling on the Bold 9900. However, the response is very slow, so a lot of swiping will be needed, unless you change it in the settings. Both the Torch 9810 and 9860 are a little stuttery and slow at loading web pages too. The Liquid Graphics processor has improved things, but it's still not as good as other smartphone platforms. Both the Torch 9810 and the Bold 9900 have some real highlights on show, with a decent keyboard of the Bold likely to entice hordes of users. The Torch 9810's touchscreen keyboard combination is a little low on style, and curiously looks identical to its predecessor. And sadly, we can't see much of a future for the Torch 9860. It's just another large touchscreen phone in the sea of many, and we can't find any real standout features to help us recommend it over the iPhone or decent Android models.